<laughs> Hello and welcome! I'm Norvegicus and this will be my let's play of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. So, it says press any key, I will do that and then the game will try to log into my Ubisoft account, so I'll just skip over that. You might be surprised seeing me play a game like this since I've only been playing RPG games up till this point. But I'd say that this game does have some minor RPG elements to it, although it's not an RPG game per se. But I used to be a huge fan of the Assassin's Creed games and I thought why not play one of them for the channel. And uh, one of my favorite games, I don't know if this is actually my favorite game in total, but one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games is definitely Black Flag. I think it's one of the most replayable uh, Assassin's Creed games in the series. And I loved it when it first came out. So this is the first time playing the Steam version of the game. Don't know if there'll be a huge difference between the Steam version and the PlayStation 3 version that I'm used to. Um, but I've played this game twice before, I think. I played it when it was new, back in 2013. And I also played it a few years back when I remembered that it was a thing and I wanted to play it again. So I thought, why not try it again? So it's been a few years since I played it last, so this can be interesting. Uh, obviously, we're going to name our save file Norvegicus. Oh, yeah, my keyboard is a little ways off, so it's kind of hard to type. But there we go, Norvegicus is our um, save file, and I'm not going to talk over the uh, cutscenes a lot because I know that can be annoying, so I'll just be quiet. I think there's a cutscene starting us off as usual, but I'll just stay quiet for that so you can enjoy it. Ubisoft presents Shouting People. Unless we can play some here, can move around the camera, and oh, looks like our objective is over there to reach the ship's wheel. All right, we can do that. If I can just walk, that is. Every time something happens, then he flinches. Can you move, please, sir? Thank you. Okay, I'll try to reach the wheel. There we go. Okay, take the wheel. Now what? Uh, oh, okay, well, I guess, wait, am I supposed to get, like, tutorial right here? <laughs> what is happening right now? I can't click anything, nothing, nothing works. Hello? Is the game glitched already? Wow. Yeah, the, the, the cannons are... They're lighting up, but shooting doesn't work. Um, <laughs> let me just try to restart this. This is not supposed to happen, is it? Well, that was weird. I haven't seen that before. Is that like a... Uh common glitch for the um oh yeah you you weren't talking before were you no everyone is dead over over there last time so i guess that was supposed to not happen that was weird okay i already seen a glitch and we've only been recording for five minutes great okay take the wheel there we go that looks more like it Firing cannons. To fire with your cannons, hold LT and move R to aim, then press RT to shoot. I tried doing that earlier, but that didn't help. Shoot the hull for maximum damage. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I almost got him. Think about you, though. Oh, can I... Come on, come on, come on. Is it working? It's working. There we go. I sunk one of them. Where are the rest of them? There they are. Kind of hard to see them in the storm. Guess that's supposed to be like that. 
It's supposed to be a challenge. I can't see shit though, because it's too much uh, smoke. I guess. What? I got him. That's a bigger sh Oh. Did they get hit by lightning? I think they did. That helps a little bit. I'm shooting back though. Huh. I think I hit it a little bit, but the waves are kinda eating up some of my shots. Oh! Don't ram us. There we go. We got him. There we go. Is there one more? No. That was it, apparently. We are the wieners! Is it dangerous? Edward? Hmm? Privateering? Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. H how long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Yes, yes, I promise. Pinky promise. Oh. Okay, well, looks like I'm alive. Am I the only survivor? It looks kind of grim, doesn't it? Okay, supposed to swim. Can we swim a little faster than this? There we go. With R2, or R, not R2, RT. Yeah, I'm used to the PlayStation controller. I'm using a, uh, an Xbox controller for this. The equivalent of the Xbox equivalent to R2. Okay, we're reaching the shore. Yeah, better get some air, huh? <laughs> We're alive. Great. Oh, he's alive too. <sighs> Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred Eskimos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? Oh, he said the F word. <laughs> I'm on to you, Sneaksby! Sneaksby, is that like the uh, nickname you use for assassins? Okay, so this is the game. On, nice. Mate. We're off to a bad start. Yeah, uh, so our objective is to find the assassin, although we can't see anything here. It's a lot of fog, but we are going to find some viewpoints after a while. I don't know if you um, if you've never played Assassin's Creed before, but it's supposed it's very easy to get into, so I don't want to like explain away the game um, at any point. But um, yeah, 
They're, I think they're great games in their own way. Some of them are good, some of them are not as good, but, you know. Give, you get some, you win some, you lose some. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? And I will try to get every, like, chest and uh, collectible in the game as I go through here, because uh, I think, if I remember correctly, that every island has, like, this, like, status page that if you get everything, every chest and every collectible, then it'll say that it's 100% complete for that island. So there are a lot of small and big islands uh, in this game where you can get stuff. So I'm gonna try my best to find everything, but I won't go out of my way for it, but, you know, I'll try. I, I do like collectathons. I do like collecting things in games. I do like exploring in games. I think that's a lot of fun. Is it up here? I think it is up here. So this is one of those uh, viewpoints. So let's, uh, let's get that. Nice. There we go. So before jumping down, is there anything behind me? Oh, looks like a lot of stuff, actually. Um, is that chest? Okay, it's down there. Okay, I don't know if I should jump, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Leap of faith. There we go. Hopefully that didn't screw me up. Oh. Posh git. Where's he running to? What do you think is posh? Nothing about him said posh to me, but okay. So the first chest we're gonna find is down here. Let's go. Chests usually just contain gold. They can contain items, I think, sometimes. I'm not sure, I haven't played this in a while. Can I loot it? There we go. Just kick it. There we go. Um, why is this camera so zoomed out? It's kind of annoying. That's a jaguar, that's kind of scary. Jaguars can attack us. Oh, we have to climb back up. Well, can I get up here by doing this? It looks like we can, yes. There's usually a way back up if you jump down somewhere. Wait, is that bottle down here? I'm gonna check that first, so I don't have to climb up and then realize that and then climb down. Yeah, it's right there, okay. That's what I thought, like, why would a um, message in a bottle be anywhere but on the beach, right? <clears throat> so what does it say? It is... oh, it's just a note. Yeah, I don't want to read all that. <laughs> it's a lot to read. Letters. Okay, I guess we'll find more of those. Yeah, it looks like that chest says it's white and not, like, see-through. That means it's uh, on the same, like, level as I am. There we go. Next chest. Is that the one I, um... Probably the one that I um, highlighted before. Can I just swim over here, then? There we go. Yeah, swimming is kind of weird. <laughs> Wait, is the chest? Okay, it's probably up there. What? And no, it's probably even higher up actually. Um wait, is that chest closer then? Yes, yeah, right there, okay. Yeah, sometimes it's kinda hard to know where the chests are um in relation to you, but that means that this wait, is that an animal like an animus fragment? Yes it is. Okay, it's probably on the tree, right? Nope, don't do that. Climb the tree, please. Yeah, there it is. It's the yellow thing in the, uh, in the ear here. There we go. And that takes us right to where the chest is. Perfect. And what is that paw print right there? Is that an animal? Oh, it's a dead animal. Okay. Can skin it. Looks like a wild boar or a wild pig. Okay. Let's uh, avoid the Jaguar, because I don't want to fight that, at least not right now. Later I'll have to fight it, because I need the pelt for upgrades. 
but I want to avoid it right now because it's, it's it is dangerous. They can do a lot of damage to you if I remember correctly from playing these games uh, or playing this game before. There's another chest over here as well as a viewpoint. It's gonna be nice. Wait, is the chest here? No, it's not there. It's up there. Yeah, definitely up there. Even though it is it is white, which is weird. Which is weird. We could work together oh. on this. And down he goes. <laughs> Interesting. All right, let's get the chest. There we go. Is that the last chest I can see? I was wondering over there, but I'm gonna get the viewpoint first because it's closer, and I'll probably see more chests and fragments and stuff after getting it. Yeah. So if you hear an eagle, that means there is a viewpoint close. Eagles are usually a sign of viewpoints in Assassin's Creed games, at least the older ones. I don't know the new ones. I've never played Beyond Syndicate. That was the last Assassin's Creed game that I played in the series. I haven't played Origins, I haven't played Valhalla, and I haven't played Odyssey, I think. Those are the only three I haven't played. Um, I kind of fell off the series. Uh, I, I liked Syndicate a little bit. I, think, I thought it was a good game, considering, but um, I don't know. I just, um, just jump ship, I guess. Can I kill the, the pig from here? Can you please move out of there? I can kill you, Mr. Pig. Hey, Mr. Pig. Hey, come on. Why is he just doing that? That's annoying. Maybe he sees me. Maybe he knows I'm here. Oh, well, anyway. Oh, I don't know if I need uh, pig pelts or whatever for upgrades. Oh, I'll kill you, I guess. Yep, let's kill him with the assassin's blade that I don't have. Yeah, because we're not an assassin yet. We start off as just a pirate, but we will become an assassin. Okay, let's get the rest of this stuff. There's a chest over there. Probably the path that I could have gone. Can I just jump from here? I can. Good. Okay. Probably have to go around. Looks like it. Keep your distance! Uh oh. Don't shoot at me, bro. You asshole. Oh, I have to kill him. Come on. Come here, you. Come on. Jump. You're just standing there. I think if he gets too far away, then I lose. So I have to get him before he gets too far. What? Can't run fast faster than this. Yep. Kill him. I have two swords, and you don't. So I win. That was easy. Maybe too easy. Senor Duncan Walpo. I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Suma su humilde servidor, El Gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. Why did he put the hood on just to take it back off? Like right after. That's weird. Okay, I can hear some shots, but I'm not gonna go there yet. I'm gonna go and collect the stuff first. 
And then I think I have to backtrack to do that. Let's see, uh, fragment up there, actually. I'm gonna get that, too. Let's climb back up. I think it's back up, because I, th I think I... Oh, why did you do that, Edward? <laughs> yeah, that's that's the problem with the free-running thing. Sometimes it just free-runs up a wall, even though you weren't actually aiming for that wall at all. I was aiming for the pole. No. And you did this exact same thing again. Why? Why, Edward? Why do you have to be like this? Do you see the pole with the rope on it? Right in front of you? Can you please get that? No? I guess not. <laughs> Why are you so... Stupid. There we go. This time he got it. <laughs> yeah. That's always been annoying with the Assassin's Creed games. When the assassins are like... You do something and then they do something completely different that you didn't tell them to do. Like you didn't click that. And they still did it. I think we can get up here. Oh, that's the fragment though. Maybe we can get that on the way back. Because I don't want to jump down again. I want to go here. And get the chest, which is right over there. There's also shanty page. I'm not gonna I'm not looking forward to that. So if you find shanties, they will fly away from you, so you have to chase them, which is not fun. Cause uh, there's a high chance you will not get them. Because they do, they're so very, very tight to get sometimes. Like, if you mess up one little bit, then you can't get it. So, you have to be very careful with those. There's also a fragment up there, I think. Is it with the... I can't climb this tree, can I? I can't. So, how do I get to the frag... Oh, okay, it's right there. I see the way. Can you get to the branch? There you go. All right. Oh, <laughs> why did you do that? What the fuck? Why did you miss the branch right there? Okay, you're supposed to get to that one. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Sometimes it just messes up. It jumps. The path, I guess the pathfinding isn't the best sometimes. But that's just something we have to live with. Game can be, I guess the game can be confused because there's so many places you can jump that it kind of it's kind of overwhelming for the game. Maybe that's a totem Mayan thing. Okay, I think we have to go back down. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that shanty page. I'm gonna get that after the totem thing and stuff. I'm gonna try getting the um, the shanty page. It's over here. There we go. There it is. Bada bing, bada boom. And I think I have to climb this, right? In order to uh, get the stone or whatever. Yes. Okay, right. We have to align the shapes within the rocks for some reason. And that's where the stone is buried, I think. There we go. Just missed it. Okay. Using your sword as a shovel? Oh, it's just underneath the rock, I guess. That'll still make your sword uh, blunter. Is that, the, is that the correct term? Like, less sharp? <laughs> It'll damage the sword. Oh, let's get the chest. Looks like the chest is right close to where the shanty is, although maybe the shanty is closer to our height. Let's get that. I don't know if I need these pelts or hides, but maybe... Wait. Oh, that's probably underneath me. Okay, let's try to get the shanty first. So how do I attack the shanty? Um, okay, it looks like I have to climb a tree and then chase it down there. Oh, it's a chest right here, too. Yeah. Yeah, the other one is probably underneath here. Okay, if I miss the shanty, I'm gonna have to try again later, but let's try to get it. Come on, Edward. Run, 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 run. Run! Don't stop. I don't know why I stopped. But he did. That, mean, that might mean I can't get it. Because I know that if you mess up a little bit, then you're, you're screwed. So close to it too. 
Come on, get it, get it, get it. Come on, climb up! Ah, oh, that was cheap. I, he, like, he, even though I pushed the, the directional key forward, he still stopped for no reason. Wow, Edward, you're an asshole. Well, I guess I just have to wait for the shanty page to respawn and try again. Yeah, that sucks. That's usually what happens. I'm usually unlucky with those. Let's try to get the chest first, though. Looks like it's down here, maybe? Is it a cave sometime or somewhere here around down here? Let's just jump down. I don't care about the full damage. Just, it's just gonna go back up anyway. Looks like it's... Okay, it's in here. Is that another pig? Why are these pigs everywhere? Okay. Is the other... Uh, is the other chest in here too? Yep. Alright. Is the, the fragment the last thing apart from the... Yeah, from the shanty page. Oh no. I don't know if I have to go or walk a distance away from where the shanty was, or if it will just respawn over time. I can't remember. But... I know it respawns. Okay, so the shanty respawned before I got to the fragments. Let's try it again. See if I can get it the second time. Maybe the second time's the charm, right? I know the path now, at least. Okay, let's go. And go! Jump, jump, and run. Come on. Just run your fastest, Edward. That's his name, right? Edward. Come on. Get it. It's so slow in the water, too. Come on. Can I get it? There we go. Wow, that was very close. Because it despawns over there. Whew, okay. One shanty down, and probably a whole lot more to go later in the game, but at least we got one. I love the shanties, though. I love the addition of shanties in the game that when you are sailing with your crew, they will just start singing those shanties when you're in, um, on open water or whatever. Then uh, they'll start singing new shanties as you get new shanties in the game. I think that's a very cool addition. To the game it brings the crew to life a lot more than if they didn't have those shanties, I guess. And the songs aren't half bad either, you know. Honestly, I have the I have the soundtrack for the game. Uh, got a years ago, so I've listened to a few of those shanties, and uh, they're pretty good. Don't I don't wanna like overhype them, but they're really good. Some of them. Really catchy if you like that kind of music. Okay, so that was it for that. There's one more chest over here, it seems. Is it down there or is it up here? It's look, look like it's down do here. Just fine. Oh, whoa. That was very close. Don't do that again, Edward. Uh, what did it say, though? Did you talk about something? I didn't catch that because I was too afraid to jump. Oh! I was probably talking about the ship. As a pirate or a sailor in general, I guess, uh, ships are probably exciting for him, which I can, uh, which I can uh, understand. I mean, as a musician, I would be very, very uh, hyped if I saw instruments that I was interested in, so I guess I can relate to that in that kind of way. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And we get the chest. Was that the last synchronization point on this island? I think it was. Oh, monkey. Howler monkey. Huh, okay. So there's a fragment, there's another chest, and there's a cadaver with a treasure map on it. Interesting. Are those the last three things we can get? Also, this area is restricted. That means there are some enemies, probably. Yeah, there, there they are. The red uh, dots, I guess. Oh. Wait. It's up there. How do we get that one? Oh, I think I see it. To climb back up. <laughs> Looks like someone is taking the blame for uh, our pirating. This is probably where we have to jump to get the fragment. There we go. 
I never understood how the assassins were able to survive those jumps. Oh, stalking, uh, stalking zones. Dense vegetation can be used as stalking zones. They allow you to hide and move undetected. Use them to approach targets stealthily. All right, like these bushes right here. Yeah, exactly like that. Okay, another chest over here. Boom. Okay, oh, don't be spotted by those guys. Okay, so now it's only the treasure map left. Okay, now we have to be sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. Take my sugar, huh? Oh, there's a guy in the bushes here too. Hey there. Why are you hiding in the bushes? Oh, I'll pay you. Anything you like. Is that the guy I'm supposed to save? Free the merchant. So I can whistle too to to get their attention and make them walk oh over to me oh God. like this. Just be careful that if there are more than one in your vicinity, then you will attract more than one and they'll see you. So just make sure there's only one. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. Can I get you to come here? Yeah, I can. Is he coming here though? The tree is in the way. Are you smart enough to walk around the tree? Yes, you are. Oh. Go figure. I'll pay you. Anything you like. So there is another trick you can use. Halt. Like that. You can oh get their attention oh by them seeing you and then go back into the bushes immediately and then they will come to you. So that's like another trick that I use sometimes. If they're too far away to whistle. Can I sneak past Take these guys sugar. though? Take anything you like. That guy should be able to see me, right? Isn't he? I'll pay you. Oh, he is. Okay. Like. You there. Yeah, the other two are have a backs turn on me, so I'm not too afraid of those. Even though one of them is a sniper, and snipers are scary. Oh, God. Snipers oh, do a God. lot of damage. He's he's probably gonna one shot me if I try to sneak up on him, and don't kill him. Okay, let's get the treasure map before Take my sugar. saving him, because I think that's like. gonna get me out of here. Just wanted to get this. There we go. Treasure maps. Find treasure maps on explorer's cadavers. They will lead you to a specific place on an island. Dig there and you might find money or plans to upgrade your ship. Use the directional keys to select the maps and press Y to open them. The coordinates will lead you to the location and the image will help you find will help you finding the right spot. Not help you find the right spot. This feature is also accessible from the second screen. Wait, second screen? There's a second screen? What second screen? Oh, there we go. Oh, we have the treasure map right there. I don't know what island that is, but the coordinates will help us. We'll have to get a ship first though. Cape Bonavista is done. Nice, we have everything. Now we have to save this merchant dude. And I think I want to sneak up and kill the sniper. Because I don't think I can kill both oh of them at the same time, oh can God. I? Kill the sniper. I don't care about you. You're not too scary. I can just kill you. Because you're just one dude. There you go. I want to take your sugar. By God's grace, sir. You saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But, all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? <laughs> what a smile. 
Oh, okay. Looks like we didn't get out of here Luckily from doing that, but we have to reach the ship. To to my ship. Hardly That's the worst fine. Thing to happen. That's alright. I can swim in this game. Although in the first few, I think in the very first Assassin's Creed game, you died if you went into the water. But in the... from Assassin's Creed 2 and out, I think you could swim. Although the NPCs probably couldn't. Oh, oh, this, this he can, though. Which is funny, you could just you could just push the NPCs into the water in the first few games and they would die instantly. If you wanted to be an ass. There we go. Take the wheel. I am the cap now. There we go. Okay. Aboard, Press A to start sailing. I figured as much. Well to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to fall, shall we? Let's do that. So we have to sail out of here. While he's ah, chilling on the box. A tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of of possibility. <laughs> That's a top way of seeing it, mate. Yeah, just be positive. Mate. Now, we? <laughs> you mean the sail? Yeah, sure. It's a lot faster to just open it up fully, you know? Those sailors were quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes, that is a bustling strait. Do you have to talk like I all the time? <laughs> I guess so. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugar cane and its yields, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living to turn his back on a keg of rum. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. Can I make that turn? I can. Barely, though. <laughs> I was very close to hitting that rock or whatever the cliff look at event whale yeah you can uh, harpoon whales and sharks in this game too that's really fun it's a really cool mini game i'm looking forward to that but we have to get our own ship first because i don't think i can get get this one you're a natural sailor duncan i did a decent trick at the helm some time ago two years before the mast as a privateer dash my buttons your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. And now I've seen you two, Mr. Bonnet. I think Bonnet is the last name of a famous pirate. I don't know if that's him, but I'm pretty sure Bonnet is the name of a famous pirate. I know it's not Bonnie. Fantastic and, like, and Bonnie, I know Very that's another different pirate, but... Oh, now we have some uh, present day All right. story, now. I think. There you go. Welcome back. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? All right. I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. No brain breaking, please. Uh, oh, there we go. That's it down so far so good let's get you up okay let's go so welcome to the sample 17 project thank you before you get started you're gonna need this what is that there you go testing testing one two oh. three hello bonjour bon? oh it works you're french or no, All that's right. probably Let's this is probably that. French Canada. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. Because I think um, isn't Ubisoft based in Canada? Could be wrong. Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. What kind of weird dialogue is that? Maybe you saw Liberation? 
That yeah. is our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of oh. course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. Yeah, pirates are cool. It'll just take you a minute. pirates, okay. right? Sure. Still yes, I, I played Liberation. Um, well, such a glitchy game. Bon journée. Cool story, but very glitchy. C'est bon, t'étais prêt. Magnifique. Merci. Merci. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade. Your communicator. Oh. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. I thought she said sick first, but she said slick, which is less cool. Um, can I do anything about it? Oh, you might there's a map on there. It's warm. Seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. Okay. X for my files. Oh, employee passport. Your passport is no. Your passport is success at Absturger Entertainment. Employee passport. Where's my name? Oh. My name is... nothing. Is this a passport? Oh, there we go. Wait, is that me? Am I that old? No. That's that's a Warren... Warren Vidic, whatever. I think he's supposed to be a character in the other games as well. I think I re recognize his name. Anyway, let's stop digging around. Nobody cares about this. Oh, that's the wrong button, I'm sorry. Right, nobody... Nobody cares about the present day story, at least I don't. I never liked the present day story in the games. I only liked the um, the assassin stories. See that flashing wireless signal? Yeah. It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you oh. do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. Okay. I thought it was Wi-Fi, but I guess not. Uh, okay. Sample 17. Why are you so stern? You ready? Oh. Let's go. Let's go where? Oh. <laughs> Kinda hard to see where you're supposed to go. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey, them. Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, maybe. <laughs> Very exciting. Well, that's aboard. awkward. Uh, Melanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so, <laughs> nice to meet you this too. Is sample 17 floor. <laughs> We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're oh. pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. Mm -hmm. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing, calibrating. Calibrating, right. So here we are. Right. Your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours. So sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. Uh, thank you, I suppose. Um, why is there a figure... figurine of Edward Kenway right here? Why is it, why is it like, flashing? It's kind of weird. Is it because it's new, maybe? Wait, oh. Can I walk around for a while here? Can I, can I find anything here? Is there any reason to have this section in the game at all? Why is why is this this thing? Hello? What are you doing? What are you playing? The Battle for Havana. Wait, are you playing? Are you playing the same game as I am? Hmm, I guess he is. Oh, whatever. Let's go back to the Animus and do the actual fun story of the game. Who cares about this uh, present day bullshit? Nobody. Welcome to Animus Omega, Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. 
You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. Melanie Lamau is my supervisor. Is this Havana? I suppose it is. That music though. The beautiful, beautiful city. Oh, title card. Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. Here we go. That was a long intro before the title came up. But I don't mind. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a very fun playthrough. Lively Havana. I've been here once before. It was a truly awful pleasure. See someone you know. No, no, no. Just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. Yeah. More cutscenes. Mad to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? Here I am, bartering with Spaniards like they were my cousins. Nothing wrong, Duncan. No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. So where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I, I, could, I could show you the way. Well, lead on. I hope you'll tarry a bit while I can All right. meeting. Yeah, let's just follow him and then end the episode after that, I think. I can hang about. I might have a drink. Spend it. <laughs> drink. <laughs> but they don't take a drink, huh? pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. Doesn't he recognize him as an assassin now with the costume on and stuff? Maybe they aren't that famous around Hello, here. Ladies. You don't know these women, do you? No. They charge <laughs> money for that kind of privilege. A few dozen real for every hour of knowing. Keen to meet them? No. Goodness, no. I'm a, I'm a married man. A married <laughs> man of their forte, mate. Yeah, they're not too shy about married men, I guess. Aha! The prostitutes. Here's a purveyor of personal defenses. I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty razor is nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's selling. Maybe I'll buy a sword too. We'll both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the pair, you and I. Twin devils. <laughs> oh, so about him. Owls, then. I did save your skin. Ah, oh, uh, of course. Cheers. <laughs> well, buy a pair of swords. I already have a pair of swords though, but okay. Um, I can't buy anything else. Only swords. I can only buy British cutlasses. Why? I guess they're better than the one I have. They're better in every way. So I guess, yeah. Buy those swords. That's a fit for me. How do you fare? I had only enough for a small knife, sadly. Uh. Still, it'll do in a pinch. Oh, half a duff. How much money did you give me? I've led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, a tavern with a sort of courtyard interior. Okay. Guess I have to climb up here and uh, get the viewpoint. Looks like that's my... Uh... Oh, I thought it was this building. It's that building. Every finger's a fish hook. That's how you tell a true sailor. He still doesn't understand that I'm an assassin, huh? Even though I'm climbing the building like this. Wait, is the fragment... I can see a fragment there. Is that... Am I blind? Where is this fragment? Is it? Maybe it's down there. Oh! There you go. Nope. Don't do that. There we go. Okay, our first viewpoint in Havana. 
Havana is one of the m main cities, uh, I think. One of the main settlements of the game. I think I see the place. We're not far. Oh, he's being attacked, isn't he? Hang tight. Can you please jump down? Thank you. I can't breathe. Stop or I'll break your knees when I catch him. Wait, oh. I have to catch him. <laughs> we have to run. Only eight synchronization points here. That's not much. I'm close at heels, Shitbird. Get him. Can't shoot him because I don't have a weapon to shoot. Don't have a pistol or anything. There we go. Oh. What the happened there? Look, get him. There you go. You robbed the wrong man, mate. A fellow with dangerous friends. <laughs> I guess so. All the guards just suddenly appeared again. Um. Oh, there's a shanty page there too. Oof. Yeah. Let's just complete the mission. Let's go back to Bonnet, Mr. Bonnet, or whatever his name was. I think that was it. Let's go. Okay, there he is. I got your stuff, Mr. Bonnet. Duncan, by Jove, you're alive. Of course I am. I am. That filch was no fuss. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, we've arrived. Nice. Steed, is that a normal name? Steed Bonnet? Take your time, I'll be just here. Glad to meet no Welshman deep in Dago country. I'm English myself. Biding my time till the next war calls me to service. Lucky King George, having a piss pot like you flying his flag. Wow. Oh! Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before. Use mates with them pirates down in Nassau. Shut your fucking gob or I'll fill it with shots, you hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? Yay, Barbara! Hey, I warned him. Oh, I have to fight them now. You want a dust up? I'll give you one. All right. There we go. That was easy. You didn't even do anything. Can you please attack? Throw him. Hurt. Okay. I'm learning how to fight now. Knock out. There we go. Knock him out. One more. Come on. Knock him out as well. And then you. There you go. A friendly bar brawl. You're not leaving me. I'll catch you up. Perro English. I have to run now. Smoke bomb. Use directional keys to select a smoke bomb and then press Y to use it. Smoke bombs incap incapacitate enemies for a few seconds, allowing you to escape or kill them easily. Okay. Oh, another way. Go. Run away! Run away! Even though they're running after me, of course. If you get away from the zone, the red zone, I suppose. Oh. Hide inside a haystack. And similar objects. Stay in the haystack. Oh. Wait, what? I didn't even see that there were optional ob objectives here. Tackle the pickpocket. Why? Didn't you tell me that until now? Oh well, I'll just have to replay that mission later then to get the 100% memory synced, but. Yeah, I should have checked. I usually check the missions. Okay, here we have the, um, the summary screen for Havana. But yeah. I think that's enough for the first episode of the playthrough. So, 
I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, and I really hope you want to continue watching this playthrough, because I think it's going to be very fun to play this. Oh, no, he's going to see me. Fuck me. You're uh, interrupting my outro here, Mr. Guard. Right, well, I really hope you enjoyed this episode, as I said. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and bye-bye for now.